So the question we're gonna go over in this video was actually one of my own. I was working on creating an Excel class and needed a data set that included dates. Real dates were not required, so the goal was to have Excel automatically create a range of dates. The function that immediately came to mind is ran between, but the problem is that by default, it will only generate random numbers or integers, not dates. So I had to modify this function to get it to generate some dates. First, let's look at how the ran between function works straight out of the box. Put your cursor in the cell that you want and type equals rand between. Then you have to give it two arguments. It wants to know the bottom number and the top number. And then you close the parentheses and the formula is done. What I'm gonna point out here so that you will notice it later is every time you interact with this sheet, the number is going to change. I'll show you how to fix that later if that's not what you want it to do. Now I'm going to use the standard ran between function one more time and you'll see that I am typing in a date as the bottom number, comma, a date as the top number, and then use the close parentheses to complete the formula. And here you see I have this hashtag number error and that's because ran between will only return a whole number or an integer, not a date. The way to get a random date then is to nest the date function into the formula. So you type in equals ran between, then you open the parentheses, type in date, open another parentheses, and type in the beginning date. Close the parentheses around the first date, type in comma, type in date again, and then put in the ending date of the random range you want to use. I'm gonna pause for a second and zoom in on the formula so that you can see this hint box beneath where I'm typing that tells me exactly the format I need, where it says date, year, then month, then day. Now all I have to do is finish the formula by using two parentheses to close it out. Notice that I got a number and not a date, and that's because in the number section above, it says general. I just need to click the drop down and select short date or long date. In this case, I'm just gonna say short date. Now I'm gonna fill in the rest of the range. For example, I can drag the fill handle down to the rest of the range, or I can select and double click on the fill handle, and now I have all of my fake data quickly established. As promised, I'm gonna show you how to stop the data from changing every time you interact with the sheet. The easiest way to do that is to copy and paste the data somewhere else into the sheet. In this example, I copied it to the columns E and F, and I'll copy that data again and paste it into columns B and C. But when I paste it, I need to select either values or values and number formatting only. You don't want the formula to come with it. To see the difference, if I click in cell B3, you see it gives you a number of 33. If I click in cell E3, it gives you the formula. Now all you need to do is delete the extra data that you don't need and clear out all the formatting and you're ready to go with your sample data. For more quick tips, check out the playlist on the screen and I'll see you in the next video.